All right, today I was able to get out and walk around, bicycle, check out different things. Without any problems, without any major problems, after two illnesses back to back, it took me out for over a week. I had a, a cold from eating those uh, food bank cherries, and then... And then I had that, that popcorn I found on the park bench that uh, I just have allergic reactions to. It's, uh, it's happened several times with these bag snacks. There's something in them. It, was, it said it had Skinny Pop, the one of the most basic ingredients. Popcorn, vegetable oil, and salt. And I still get an allergic reaction. I could pop my own popcorn and not have any problems. I'm still getting a tightness in my gut. <clears throat> Probably the early stages of some kind of nasty cancer. As much pain as I've experienced. But I've gotten out, walked around, checked out things. It's, it's pretty nice and it's great in this wonderful weather. The closer you get to the coast. But it's not just a matter of proximity to the coast. Because if you go to Santa Cruz, it's like 10 degrees warmer. There's also the mountains, I think, and, and a cove like that. You have to, and then and then the the bay on the other side. All that might influence the how the weather works in this in this little spot more than anything. If you go if you go into San Jose, it's like ninety degrees. If you go even further over the mountains and into Los Banos where that Mexican girl killed her sister, it's it's over a hundred degrees. I remember she she said, I love my I love my sister I, lo I fucking love my sister to to death or something. She swore a lot and I've I've mentioned it before I've I've heard a lot of Mexican youths who speak English loving to, to speak Loving to swear. All right. Not around here, though. I'm very amazed. There's just no... There's no swearing. I hear a lot of Mexican youths talk in English, but no swearing in the library. It's kind of nice to understand what they're saying. The older ones don't speak the, the English so much. So the next couple of weeks, next few weeks... I just, I want to, I'm scared to go back into the Midwest area. I want to wait a couple of weeks, maybe till about mid-August, and then start trying to focus on, on moving east, get away from the coast again. What drew me to the coast was largely the weather, but also L.A. I wanted to check out just as much as of L.A. as I could before the summer really hit. And then I just got too too hot, and I needed to rush north just to cool down. That mid part, the middle part of California is like in the hundreds. It's just too hot. Tempers tempers get short in that in that heat. Everybody's pretty relaxed around here. When you get on the coast, a nice cool coast. <clears throat> but I'm feeling I'm feeling stronger. I'm feeling better, so I, I do want to get out. I want to travel more and, and and stuff. But I'm just I'm scared of the heat. As soon as I go in east, I'll just maybe try to hug the coast a little bit, just for the next couple of weeks, and then and then just just go straight east. I know I'll face a lot of temperature fluctuations pretty bad uh, in in the with heat and stuff, there'll, there'll still be 100 degree days in like September and stuff, but I know they won't last as long. The days are getting shorter, so the, the 100 degree days can't last quite as long. And then, yeah, check out things. I've been just reading a lot with this sick the sickness that keeps me grounded. I've been I've been gathering more books and stuff. I actually got a book uh, 
for Chinese medicine. So I want to read more of Chinese medicine approaches. The the web that has no weaver. That's a real popular book. I only took a sample of from Amazon on the Kindle, but now I just bought the whole thing. I just I'll take the whole thing. I I need to combat my Im, inflammatory bowel syndrome. All right, I'm thinking these chia seeds. I think I'm gonna pick up my pick up eating more of these chia seeds. I'm going to eat more of these chia seeds. They're nice to chew. I do enjoy chewing them. Yeah, I, I, I want to get out of this, this, uh, this, the Bay Area because they don't really have any, any food co-ops for like bulk foods for, I can't find catnip, okay? Where am I going to find, I can't find any catnip in, in the, in the Bay, in the Silicon Valley, in the Bay Area. I can't just scoop out a few scoops of catnip. I, I miss catnip too. I really like that. But just all the other herbs too. I just, I can't find any places to, that offer good choices. So I'll be happy to get out of here because I know a lot of other cities in the Midwest have that. Boise, Boise had a nice one. Boise, Idaho. Uh, they had some weird choices like Cherval or Chervis. I don't know who would use that for anything. That's just a it's just silly for them to to serve that, but there there's some there's some good places even even further north. When you start getting into the Fred Meyer's uh, territory, those stores sell the herbs in bulk, catnip and and peppermint. It's pretty nice. So yeah, I'm just just being kind of a bum, of course. I mean that's just my uh, my whole approach, just being a bum. I want to clean out my car. I'm sure there's food that's rotting, that is buried, that I'm having difficulty finding. <clears throat> food that I've forgotten about that's buried in here. Weighing down my car. It kind of bothers me with that. probably have a good 10 pounds of garbage that needs to go. I just found this book somebody has getting rid of instead of cradle to grave it's cradle to cradle because a lot of products we use go to the grave and he's thinking we can renew them it's going to be a long time before i get around to this book because i got a lot of other books to to read through so that's that's it that's the vlog it's nothing nothing much to it just really just really angry about having gotten sick so much I just been just been stunted. I just I just sit in my car and just just feel the pain and and just wait out the pain and there there's not much you can do. It's it's really frustrating when you have a, an allergic reaction. I don't I don't know how fit you could be. I mean maybe running could shake up the organs a little bit and and uh, get the blood flow going to them. I haven't really run in in practically years I haven't really gone for a jog in in years and that's that's very beneficial uh, but if I can't squat then I'm not gonna run because I need to be able to support my joints better f for running by by being able to do the wide stance squats and it's not easy to really to find the privacy for doing wide stance squats so I just I just avoid everything. It's like doing doing sit-ups and and then uh, getting a backache. Okay, you just have that have that muscle strength and balance, getting strong abs. And if you don't work your back, that's it. It's, you gotta you gotta just stop the whole thing, stop the whole fitness routine until you get until you can find a way to to do a more balanced routine. It's just like I could do push-ups and sit-ups I was doing them as a youth no problems but now now my joints let me know that the muscle imbalances are are a big problem and and uh, I'm not going to I'm not going to get into those type of fitness routines if I can't counteract it you know I need I need to be able to do rows a lot of rows so I can do push-ups and 
If I can't do rows, then yeah, I can't do anything pretty much.